Hi hey everyone, my name is Elliot, I'm the co-founder of Mnemonic AI, where we create advanced customer intelligence. We create data-driven buyer personas or build the brand personality of our clients with artificial intelligence. Today, I want to tell a little more about the importance of psychographic marketing and targeting. So, let's start with the black hole of failed marketing campaigns. I'm a marketer myself and you might know the feeling when you look at a failed marketing campaign, trying to figure out what went wrong. Your team, your team spent hours and hours nailing down the target audience and creating well-structured, good-looking ad copies, and then the campaign still bombed. The reason is simple and highly complex at the same time. Humans are different, and you need to create tailored messages for these differences. There are numerous publications on how psychographics and the subconscious influence decision making. For instance, according to Harvard professor Gerald Saltman, 95% of all purchasing decisions are made subconsciously. This statement won't help if you need to defend yourself in front of your supervisor, right? But it will encourage you to un try to understand your customer base beyond demographics going forward. So, targeting the right people based on demographics and interests is the starting point, but only the beginning towards a deep customer understanding that is at the end required. To go beyond the standard approach, and it is easier than expected to tell you that, um, so to take customer engagement and commitment to the next level, you need to understand their psychographics, ultimately affecting subconscious decision making. Demographics will tell you who buys your product, but psychographics will reflect why. And before I lose you, because you're thinking, how the heck shall I look inside the brains of thousands of prospective customers? Don't worry, artificial intelligence makes it possible nowadays. You will understand their personalities, emotions, attitudes, values, and honestly, and, and honestly expressed interests. Let us look at the psychographics and how they can be uncovered and used for your marketing endeavors. So, let's talk about personality traits first. The most powerful asset to understanding your customer psychographics is the identification of the personality traits by applying the Big Five personality trait model called Ocean at scale. For decades, psychologists, marketers, researchers and others had to conduct complex questionnaires to define someone's personality individually. Luckily, a trained AI can identify personality traits now based on 128 characters only. This is not more than a short email or a tweet. With sufficient data, you can add these personality traits clusters to your personas or target audience uh, when, when setting up the campaign and build your ads and communication around these traits. So, let's talk about identifying the reason for failure by understanding these psychographics. Compare the following personas, Anne and Faye and they will explain where and how tissue communication should differ. Uh, feel free to read the article on our blog post since it is sometimes hard to you know, follow everything in a video, especially when it comes to the differences of psychographics. So here is Anne and here is Faye. So setting up the target audiences based on differences in age, income, family background, location and interests is pretty straightforward. So we will, for our case, we will use the same visuals and communication for both target audiences and create information-dense text and image ads that display a group of people happily using the product. We let the campaign run for a week and afterward we realized the campaign for Persona and bombed, while the fake campaign was a huge success. We, of course, turn off the end campaign and expand the fake campaign. But we will never understand why the end campaign failed. So what if I tell you that the end campaign could be a success with only a few tweaks? And for that, we need to take the personality traits of the two personas 
into consideration. So here they are. You realize that they have two completely different personalities. And this ultimately means that they respond differently to the same message. Based on the displayed personality traits, here are examples of what works best for their personality traits. Do you remember what the ads looked that we created looked initially? So we created information, dense text ads and image ads display a group of people happily using the product. So, the campaign performed much better for Faye than for Anne since it's matched Faye's psychographics. Faye wants to hear about data and how the product is placed in the social surrounding. Anne has a strong expression of neuroticism and openness. She reacts, she reacts better to video ads than information than text ads and needs a different communication approach. The information must be presented simply where big numbers dropping has no space. The ad should be imaginative and focused on solving a particular problem. In summary, Anne prefers transformational ads over informational ads, whereas Faye prefers the opposite. You now understand how important it is not just to create different target audiences and bombard them with the same message, but to adjust their ad copies and visualization for their, personal, for their personalities and needs. So, personality is the foundation, but there is more to understand. As you can see above, the personality traits define what ad types work best and how to present the information. To nail down, you should consider additional factors. One is, for instance, the differences in lifestyle. Based on demographics and combination with personality traits, you can conclude their lifestyles. Whether the target audience is married or single, employed or self-employed, etc., they are all factors that influence and define their lifestyle. Remember, face psychographic traits ask for ads displaying the product in a social surrounding. However, she's married with kids and a wild clubbing party crowd is probably not the best fit, but certainly some backyard grill get-together. Additionally, personality traits influence the approach to life in general. For instance, somebody who ranks high on openness to experience tends to be risk-taking, whereas somebody who ranks high on neuroticism tends to be, be risk-averse. Somebody who is dominant trait as openness strives for excitement and your messaging should encourage this. In contrast, someone with neuroticism as a dominant trait seeks safety and the needs are you know, totally different and they need a different approach. Additionally, we'll now look at the differences between beliefs and values. Considering different beliefs and values is also, an essential, is also essential but often overlooked factor. There is a correlation between personality traits and values to a certain extent. For instance, somebody who ranks high on consciousness tends to have um, environmental concerns, whereas somebody who ranks high on neuroticism is less so. Therefore, no matter how good your messaging and ad look, if you sell a hairspray tested on animals, a very environmental friendly conscious target audience will never buy from you. Last but not least, the interests. We mean true interests, not those based on randomly liked Facebook pages when writing about interests. We see many persona projects based on liked Facebook pages. They probably liked the page back in the day when CMOs screamed, we need more likes on our page, come up with some contest. What really matters are the interests your target audience writes about or shares related stories about. Not only you will create a better targeting, but use these interests to position your product in a context. The emotions. Also emotions play an important role in the decision making process. It is critical to understand the emotional drivers that encourage the different target segments to choose a product. For instance, are their needs more problem driven or are there different motivations? I hope. It appears to be less complicated now than you thought 
than it would be initially. Once you nail down your personas, you will never sit in front of your computer questioning what to write. By understanding their needs, pain points, emotions, and especially their personalities, creating tailored ad copies will be a walk in the park. I promise. If you have any remarks, comments, or questions, please reach out to us either by email, through our websites, or leave them down in the comment. I appreciate every kind of feedback, so um, I'm looking forward to talk to you. See you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.